Okay, I'd like to do a short video on what I call an amateur radio antenna grounding box. So I wanted something to connect my antennas to ground. I wanted it to be waterproof. I wanted it to be secure. And I came up with this method. There are these boxes that uh, Lowe sells and, and others, Home Depot, that are used for electrical connections. And they're weatherproof. They have a seal on the top. <coughs> and you can find them in the uh, plastic conduit section of Lowe's, not the, not the metal conduit. And they're pretty nice little boxes with tabs that you can uh, screw into a, a board or the side of a wall. Uh, this particular one here is a 4x4 four four, um, box. I thought that was a little small. I wanted to have expansion capabilities. I wanted to put at least two antennas through here. So I settled on the 6x6 six six box, which is this size here. And basically what I did was I drilled two holes in the side <coughs> and tried to drill two holes exactly in the same side on the opposite. You see here I missed. Um, so this is a Rev A. It didn't work out too well. But you can either do two things. You can either measure very accurately each hole on each side so that the uh, bulkhead connector we're going to use, and, I, and I'll show you that later, goes straight through it. It's not skewed. Uh, either left or right. You want it to go straight through like this as opposed to like that or like that. And I wanted to have two holes. So I started with this and um, uh, I, I came up with a, a better method of drilling the holes. I used a fixture to hold the box and drilled the hole in one side and then flipped it over and drilled the hole in the same location on the second side uh, on the other side. Uh, one recommendation is you see how I have the holes with the tabs up at the top. I think it's better if you put the tabs on the side. It's easy to get at the tabs uh, and drill the holes this way rather than the way I did it. So that was the first uh, um, revision of this thing. The first prototype. It didn't work out too well. So here's, the, uh, here's what I used for connectors. Uh, there's double female connectors. This is a one inch one. They're call, sometimes called uh, bulkhead connectors which is what this is called. This is a two inch one. Uh, and then they have double male uh, connectors like this and they have various lengths of this, these two. Uh, the problem with the bulkhead connectors that you buy, they have these flimsy little nuts on them here which really don't hold, hold them very well and they're not a real secure connection. So what I did was I found a company online, there's more, th there's more than one, the one I particular that, that I uh, bought uh, was American, from American Radio Supply and I bought these large nuts you can see here, large lock washers and large flat washers. Um, they're not cheap. The uh, washers, uh, the, the uh, stain, this is a stainless steel lock washer internal tooth. That's about 50 cents. The uh, uh, nickel plated brass nuts and nickel plated brass uh, flat washers, they're about a buck and a half, a buck 69 a piece. Uh, I bought them from American Radio Supply because they had, they had uh, also the longer uh, bulkhead connectors I needed. Uh, the, again this is a 6x6 six six box and what the final box looks like is this right here. And what I used is a uh, 8 inch long bulkhead connector and on each end I used a flat washer, a large nut like this and then on the inside I used a lock washer and a flat nut um, on the inside to lock them in. That really holds, them, holds it very secure. So why do I have two different uh, connections here? Well this one, this bottom one here is just for those antennas like a J-pole that the center conductor and the shield are uh, connected together in terms of DC. So I just wanted to connect the shield so I put a stainless steel hose clamp here and, and brought it down to a, a nut down here and you can see these connectors here, I got it at Home Depot, they're, uh, they're ground connectors and they're, they're pretty secure. They come in different sizes, this one's uh, I think for a, a size 2 wire to 8 wire uh, and it's again with a stainless steel uh, hex nut and some washers and lock washers in here. Now this path is for a something like a beam where the director of a beam is isolated or the center connector is isolated from the shield and I used an array solution surge arrestor here 
And this particular surge arrestor is model AS-302. Uh, it's good for 1 to 500 megahertz. Insertion loss is 0.02 dB. And the power rating is 3, kilowatt, 3 kilowatts. So for this, I used a, uh, I used a double bulkhead, 2-inch, uh, and then a double male connector. And that goes into the... Uh, uh, the surge arrestor and then the same on the other side so you have to experiment a little bit but this worked good for me for a 6x6 container and the 6x6 allowed the surge arrestor to sit in there as well as um, give me enough room to get my fingers in there as well uh, also so then um, once that's all connected up I'm going to put a little bit of uh, silicone grease under each flat washer Snug down the nut on the flat washer. It should be totally waterproof. The gasket is in the cover of the uh, the box. You can see here an O-ring gasket, uh, and then that'll sit on on like that. And then this will screw into uh, a piece of wood I have attached to my foundation uh, using these wedge anchors. These wedge anchors. I used a couple of wedge anchors, drilled some holes in the uh, side of the foundation, put a big piece of uh, pressure treated. I think it was a 2 by 10 onto the foundation wall and this will screw into that and then the antenna will go in this side and then the uh, uh, the output will go into the shack uh, to the to the receiver uh, or transceiver uh, with this connector so let me let me make sure I get a, a good uh, a view of this you can see the inside here it's kind of it's kind of dark um, let me put the there you go, you can see see how that works. So, so this is the ground connection for the surge arrestor. It goes around this stainless steel hose clamp and there's also a wire around that hose clamp that goes to the ground so they're both connected together. And um, in terms of prices, the box itself, the 6x6 box, is about uh, $10 at Lowe's. The eight inch long bulkhead connector from American Radio Supplies about $15 and then it's uh, anywhere from three to four dollars for these these smaller connections uh, that go in here so it's not it's not the cheapest solution but it should be waterproof it should be tight uh, I, I like the fact that it can be easily taken apart and maintained if there's a problem uh, you can take it apart real easy um, and, and it grounds everything and uh, it has two connections in there so that's about it. I uh, hope you found this video interesting. Uh, you can leave comments and thanks for watching.